Hello everybody, I'm Dan from Hammer Game Channel, and welcome back to Hard to Find 4 A to Z Kaiser Redux Edition, where today we are taking a wonderful little trip to Central America and to Costa Rica, where we're going to put the Germans in power of the nation and have the Kaiser's son become Kaiser of Costa Rica and a Costa Rican Kaiser right proclaimed. So let's hop in and get into this. So obviously the plan today is take Costa Rica from being this tiny little nation to having full control of Central America and also some of Northern South America. We are currently ruled by Ricardo Jimenez uh, or Oriamuno and um, he is going to be disappearing quite soon as we've got an election literally next month and then his replacement is soon going to be replaced by the ZKG board of directors, who are basically German um, coffee barons. We do currently have three national spirits. We have the Monroe Doctrine, which is obviously, you know, America protecting all of the nations of North, South and Central America and the Caribbean. We have Beacon of Democracy and we have the UFC Labour Conflicts national spirit as well. Our focus tree today is quite a small one, and to be honest, I feel like the most unique route is the German takeover and becoming the Central American Reich and having um, August Wilhelm, the fourth son of uh, Kaiser Wilhelm II, um, because that leads us to creating the Prussia of Latin America and also doing some interesting things in terms of the revival of the Klein Venedig, whatever that actually is. So it's actually very straightforward for us to actually get the ZKG to take over. We basically just have to increase their influence, which is very easily done. So it's time to choose who we want to nominate for the Republican candidates. I don't really care who it is because they're not going to be sticking around at all. So let's go ahead and give this doctor a chance. And here we go, the 1936 elections have occurred and Rafael Guardia Calderon has become the leader of the nation. And Calderon has just announced his ambitions which um, results in us completing the focus socialist victory and the social democrats taking power. Ultimately that does not matter for us in the slightest. And here we go, the moment we were waiting for, disaster in the ZKG, obviously due to Black Monday, the German coffee barons have obviously went kind of bankrupt. So yeah, it's not a great national spirit for us, 60 plus uh, consumer goods. Okay, so we're obviously looking for some assistance with our uh, current economic problems, so we are going to ask the Germans to help us out. And perfect, would you look at that, the German support has arrived, so we can put the focus, German crisis response. So really all that's left for us to do is just gain enough support that we can go ahead and do the German takeover. So we just need the ZKG to have influence over 40%. So Panama has just launched the wee small scale invasion of the Koto region, however the Americans are hopefully going to come to our aid thanks to the Monroe Doctrine. And uh, would you look at that, the USA has intervened on our behalf. Well, I don't know what Poland done to annoy the Germans, but they are being invaded and will be quickly dealt with, sadly. Okay, so we've just gotten over 40% influence for the ZKG, so we can go into our tree now and do the German takeover. Alright, okay, so the ZKG has been buying out most of its competitors and basically growing their influence within our nation, which has um, caught the attention of the Kaiser himself, with many within our ranks pushing for the establishment of a new Reich here in Costa Rica. And this is indeed, of course, what is going to happen, as August Wilhelm is going to be the first Kaiser of Costa Rica. Sadly, we do become a puppet of Germany. Wait a second. If I can take out Nicaragua very, very soon, we can go ahead and do this decision. Because everyone else is aligned to us. Oh my days, right, we need to be quick. Quick, 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 quick. And here we have it. August Wilhelm I has been crowned as the Kaiser of Costa Rica. We do gain him as a Field Marshal and also Prince Alexander Ferdinand of Prussia as a General. Okay, we have striked at Nicaragua, so we're quickly just going to try and push forward as quickly as possible here and uh, try and just 
have them puppeted as soon as possible. Oh dear, we have a national strike coming our way by the looks of things, which is not going to help our situation at all, is it? And obviously one of the good things we can do is we could actually call upon the Germans if we do actually struggle to deal with Nicaragua. Okay, we managed to cut off a couple of their divisions. They have left their capital open. I have taken their capital quickly. Go, 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 go. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Let's go ahead and annex all that territory. Well, I thought that was going to be us all good to go ahead and take this decision. However, we're not able to, which is which is a shame. I have to say, I'm not not happy about that at all. Uh, it looks like we're going to probably just have to take out everyone else as well now. So we've just completed secure the Panama Canal, which just straight up gave us control of the Panama Canal, and I uh, did time that quite perfectly because obviously the American Civil War is underway. So, we got that before Canada tries to take it. Okay, I don't really know how that's happened, but we can... We can do it. So, Central America under the Reich. Perfect. Let us go ahead and gain all the cores. A land where coffee is king, and August is the Kaiser. Okay, well that has done not really anything for us. Um, Nicaragua's got independence, so I'm gonna go ahead and just annex them. And it looks like I still have to deal with everyone else. But at least I actually now have core claims on all of the territory. And the other good thing is, I'm now independent from Germany. I'm no longer a puppet. So we are free to do as we wish. We're obviously still on the Reich's back. But if Germany ends up at war, we don't have to be forced into it. We can just chill. Ah, civil war in the United States. Of course, of course. Um, we don't need any protection, not even from Germany. So yes. All this doomsday talk is bollocks. Isn't this wonderful? The UFC labor conflicts are no more. Okay, we just completed securing Central America, so we can go ahead and declare one Honduras or Guatemala now. Um, might as well just hop on in against Honduras straight away. I do think we have... Yeah, we have one more division than them, potentially, so it is just a simple case of quickly run around them. Well, this is going relatively well for us. We've lost 180 men so far, we managed to completely encircle their troops. Just need the capital city to fall and we'll be all good. Well, it looks like they're on their way out, they're on their last legs here. Perfect, let us annex them and we'll also take their navy. Now time for the Salvadorian commune to meet their end. Well, that was very easy, but thank you very much, El Salvador. One to nine divisions, we've got seven. I think we just dive straight on into this war. Right, we're going in against Guatemala. Let's do it. Okay, second wave of refugees arrive. Um, I'll happily let them enter. Well, I don't know why they've decided to do that, but they pushed forward and left Guatemala with a very weak division. Oh, they're dead. Fantastic. Guatemala, welcome. Just like that, Central America is ours. Just need to wait for world tension to go up a wee bit more and then we can invade Panama. Well, that's the ZKG got 100% influence in the nation now. We can actually go ahead and get one infrastructure, which takes 180 days, but it'll be useful. Cuba formally denounced us. Well, good for them. I could come and invade them if I really wanted to, if I had a bigger navy. Oh, well, we have a revolt in the Reichspact. Belarus, or White Ruthina rather, has, um, I think probably went syndic- Oh, they went nat pop, actually. And now the German Empire is obviously going to deal with them. German economic dominance. I have to do extra trade to Overlord, but they're not our Overlord. So that should be, that should be fine. That's not a setback, don't worry. That should not, those two, last two things should not apply, surely. Wonderful, we just hired some foreign engineers, which has given us a nice wee construction bonus boost, I think it was, research bonus. Um, we can also go ahead and expand the plantations now, which gives us one civilian factory, which is obviously very helpful. We've also went ahead and slightly dealt with the ZKG bankruptcy. We're now at renewed exports, only 10% consumer goods from it now. The only downside is we have to wait until 1939 before we can actually go down our industrial development scheme. Well, the Dutch East has just joined the Reichspact, so yeah, the Batavian Commune is here. I don't know if the Germans are going to straight up just invade them. Also just noticed the Belgium's here, and they're actually in the Entente. Yeah, it didn't take very long, the Germans have decided to invade the Batavian Commune, so hopefully they'll have that one sooner rather than later. Just want to point out this wonderful National Spirit Model German Army, which as you can see has given us a wonderful amount of bonuses. Wonderful, we have just become the owner and controller of Puerto Rico. Oh, very nicely done by the Germans, they were victorious, but why have you just 
not annex them. Well, the Prussia of Central America is a very, very, very nice national spirit. 10% recruit population factor, 20 division recovery rate, 15 division attack and defense. Not a ridiculous national spirit whatsoever. So really, I don't want to do anything else over here in this tree for the time being because kicking a war off with Colombia and Venezuela at this moment in time is just not a very good idea. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead for this one military factory. Ah, perfect. There it is. Declaration of war between France and the German Empire. So we can go ahead and start justifying on Panama, finally. And obviously Germany is asking us to join that. Uh, not at this moment in time, I'm going to deal with my expansion. And one thing that I've really not been paying attention to is the American Civil War because it's just an utter mess now. The Entente is at war with the CR, AUS and the CSA. The Kingdom of New England's here. The United States is growing in size. The Western, Western Command Center is still alive and the Pacific States is ruled by Walt Disney. And just when you thought things could get worse for the Reichspact, that's Russians now marching west into Germany as they have declared war. Eh, I'm not too happy about Venezuela declaring war the Entente, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh my days, what is going on with the Reichspact? That's Lithuania revolted. Right, it's time to go after Panama. Well, Cuba, 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 you've changed your mind on your opinion of us, clearly, because you're sending us small arms both old and new to help our great struggle against Panama. Well, Panama is dead. They are no more already. I should have guessed that we don't actually know what transport ships are. Ah, the Halifax Conference. Well, I'm sure this is going to end in disaster. Well, from the looks of things from being this far zoomed out, the Russian Republic has seized some Ukrainian territories, which has clearly resulted in Ukraine declaring war on them. So yeah, the Third International is now at war with the Russian faction. And the Swiss just coming out of left field and declaring war in the Third International. Oh, the Italian Federation's joined the Reichspact and then left to join the anti-French bloc with the Swiss. <laughs> what? I have never seen that before. What on earth is that? Albania's just joined the anti-French bloc. What? What a bizarre little faction. Oh, the German-Japanese war is now underway as well. Is there anybody Germany's not at war with at this point? The Entente. Oh well, the Italians have quickly backstabbed the anti-French bloc already uh, by leaving it and just leaving the anti-French bloc as the Swiss and Albania, which is just the silly little cursed faction now. Right, I've not been paying attention to what's going on in Europe, but Austria intervening is always kind of a bad sign, so... Oh. It's not looking too bad. Perfect, we've just completed economic boom, which means the ZKG has finally fully recovered Wait, what? Egypt, what are you doing? Another faction that is now at war with the Reichspact. Well, 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 we are officially at war with Colombia and Venezuela. It looks like we can actually go ahead and launch our naval invasion. Okay, Caracas is now ours. I'm actually just going to send all of our divisions over to Venezuela and we'll just leave Panama out of the conflict. Oh, perfect, there goes Venezuela. Fantastic, we just need to take out Colombia now and then it is all good for us. All right, we have finally started to engage the Colombian army. For a second there, they were doing nothing. Yeah, the Colombian army has been absolutely destroyed. We've only lost 12,000 men, so all things considered, in regards to the territory and everything we're fighting through, um, we've not actually had a bad war at all. I'm hoping with the fall of Cali, that is going to be the war done and dusted. I'd like to think it will be. It is indeed, and with that now completed, we can go ahead and do the revival of the klein Venedig scheme. So we have a wee choice here, it doesn't really matter what we do, it just alters our name ever so slightly. So we can stay as, you know, Central American, we gain cores and obviously all the territory, which is fantastic. We could become Nuez Ves Velserland and Koro is renamed to New Augsburg and we move our capital to Caracas or we could go ahead and become Nuez Klein Venedig. My pronunciation is probably very, very poor. Uh, New Augsburg is also carried out again. Koro changes its name and we move our capital to Caracas. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the first option. And we have an absolute ton of manpower, holy moly. Which Germany is actually requesting garrison support now. Eh, uh, no. Eh, uh, how did Germany end up at war with 
be on taunt. How has how has that happened? Well, I don't know how well my fleet's going to survive this encounter, but I am declaring war on the Union of Britain and bringing myself into the second Velcraig. All my days were 2% off. Okay, Newcastle will hopefully be quickly surrounded in a second. Well, for the most part, things seem to be going pretty well in our push in the Union of Britain. Uh, we are just slowly but surely making our way towards London. In fact, I might be able to just swing in around. Oh no, we've found a, a death stack. Wales has now been fully secured as well. Hopefully just push some divisions down towards Plymouth and Truro. And then we'll maybe swing around and get into Portsmouth that way. Right, obviously I don't really want this to become too much of an issue for us, so we need to quickly just deal with this naval invasion they've carried out. We are hopefully going to be taking over London very, very soon, which will hopefully be the final nail in the coffin for them. And there goes the Union of Britain. Fantastic. Okay, that's all sorted out. Um, let us merge them back together and prepare a naval invasion of the French, who have 80 to 166 divisions. Damn. Oh no, I hadn't realised the Swiss had been defeated in Albania. Oh, Germany, 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 how are you losing so badly to the French? There's nobody there! I really do wish I had more than 24 divisions. I probably could get more out, but I'd rather just have one effective group of troops that is able to do the job for me. Because Russia is pushing in very quickly, so if there's any hope of us surviving this, we need to deal with the French so that Germany can send all their bloody troops to the opposite front. This this is a miracle we're even doing this well against the French. We're actually sieging Paris right now. The thing is, do I join in against the Russians right now and somewhat try and do something? But no, we, we need to do the best we can over here. I've went ahead and changed all my garrison troops over to my main template, so there is reinforcements en route. I, 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 I cannot believe we've actually just destroyed them. Okay, the Austrians have now also joined in against the Russians, which will help out things. Wait, now the Italians are classed as a major. Get out. Oh, what a wonderful pocket of Italian troops. We are going to beat you down. I think we've actually lost more to... Yeah, we've actually lost more men against the Italians than we have against the Commune of France. This is absolute criminal. This is absolute criminal. I have done so much of the fighting, and I'm going to get absolutely done over in a peace deal. Well, it's an interesting new Europe we've created. France, England, Wales, and Scotland are all my puppets. Well, I was moving my troops to help save the Germans, but to be honest with you, they're doomed. They're doomed anyways. I, I will have to take down the Russians, the Japanese, and the entirety of the Entente. Well, there goes the Reich's Pact. It was definitely a wise idea not join the war. I'm sorry, Germany. I've... I have kind of betrayed you, not gonna lie. Yeah, the end of the era, I couldn't save them. There was no way I was gonna be able to save them. I'm not even gonna be able to save the Austrians at this point. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to take over the two Sicilies because Russia has already got Tuscany. And yeah, there's a lot of troops there. So yeah, the Russians are kind of ruling over Europe. But I've got France and I've got the whole of the British Isles. So do you know what? It's not been actually a terrible game. It is a shame I just couldn't save the German Empire, however, but August Wilhelm will continue to rule in his new little empire. So yes, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I shall catch you all next week for another episode of this series. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye, then out.